a biometric passport, also known as an e-passport, e-passport or a digital passport, is a combined paper and electronic passport that contains biometric information that can be used to authenticate the identity of travelers. It uses contactless smart card technology, including a microprocessor chip and antenna embedded in the front or back cover, or center page, of the passport. Document and chip characteristics are documented in the International Civil Aviation Organization's DOC 9303. The passport's critical information is both printed on the data page of the passport and stored in the chip. Public key infrastructure is used to authenticate the data stored electronically in the passport chip making it expensive and difficult to forge when all security mechanisms are fully and correctly implemented. The currently standardized biometrics used for this type of identification system are facial recognition, fingerprint recognition, and iris recognition. These were adopted after assessment of several different kinds of biometrics including retinal scan. The ICAO defines the biometric file formats and communication protocols to be used in passports. Only the digital image of each biometric feature is actually stored in the chip. The comparison of biometric features is performed outside the passport chip by electronic border control systems. To store biometric data on the contactless chip, it includes a minimum of 32 kilobytes of EEPROM storage memory, and runs on an interface in accordance with the ISO IEC 14443 International Standard, amongst others. These standards intend interoperability between different countries and different manufacturers of passport books. Some national identity cards are fully ICAO 9303 compliant biometric travel documents. However others, such as the USA Passport Card, are not. Data Protection Biometric passports are equipped with protection mechanisms to avoid and or detect attacks, non-traceable chip characteristics. Random chip identifiers reply to each request with a different chip number. This prevents tracing of passport chips. Using random identification numbers is optional. Basic access control. BAC protects the communication channel between the chip and the reader by encrypting transmitted information. Before data can be read from a chip, the reader needs to provide a key which is derived from the machine readable zone, the date of birth, the date of expiry and the document number. If BAC is used, an attacker cannot eavesdrop transferred information without knowing the correct key. Using BAC is optional. Passive authentication. PA prevents modification of passport chip data. The chip contains a file that stores hash values of all files stored in the chip and a digital signature of these hashes. The digital signature is made using a document signing key which itself is signed by a country signing key. If a file in the chip is changed, this can be detected since the hash value is incorrect. Readers need access to all used public country keys to check whether the digital signature is generated by a trusted country. Using PA is mandatory. Active authentication. AA prevents cloning of passport chips. The chip contains a private key that cannot be read or copied, but its existence can easily be proven. Using AA is optional. Extended access control. EAC adds functionality to check the authenticity of both the chip and the reader. Furthermore it uses stronger encryption than BAC. EAC is typically used to protect fingerprints and iris scans. Using EAC is optional. In the EU, using EAC is mandatory for all documents issued starting June 28, 2009. Shielding the chip. This prevents unauthorized reading. Some countries a euro including at least the US a euro have integrated a very thin metal mesh into the passport's cover to act as a shield when the passport cover is closed. The use of shielding is optional. Inspection process. A typical workflow of an automatic border control system. Attacks. Since the introduction of biometric passports several attacks are presented and demonstrated, non-traceable chip characteristics. In 2008 a Radboud Laws its university team demonstrated that it's possible to determine which country a passport chip is from without knowing the key required for reading it. The team fingerprinted error messages of passport chips from different countries. 
The resulting lookup table allows an attacker to determine from where a chip originated. In 2010 Tom Chuthia and Vitaly Asman have documented an attack that allows an individual passport to be traced, by sending specific BAC authentication requests. Basic Access Control In 2005 Mark Witteman showed that the document numbers of Dutch passports were predictable, allowing an attacker to guess crack the key required for reading the chip. In 2006 Adam Laurie wrote software that tries all known passport keys within a given range, thus implementing one of Witteman's attacks. Using online flight booking sites, flight coupons and other public information it's possible to significantly reduce the number of possible keys. Laurie demonstrated the attack by reading the passport chip of a Daily Mail's reporter in its envelope without opening it. Note that in some early biometric passports BAC wasn't used at all, allowing attacker to read the chip's content without providing a key. Passive authentication In 2006 Lucas Grunwald demonstrated that it is trivial to copy passport data from a passport chip into a standard ISO IEC 14443 smart card using a standard contactless card interface and a simple file transfer tool. Grunwald used a passport that did not use active authentication and did not change the data held on the copied chip, thus keeping its cryptographic signature valid. In 2008 Jiren Van Beek demonstrated that not all passport inspection systems check the cryptographic signature of a passport chip. For his demonstration Van Beek altered chip information and signed it using his own document signing key of a non-existing country. This can only be detected by checking the country signing keys that are used to sign the document signing keys. To check country signing keys the ICAO PKD can be used. Only 5 out of 60 plus countries are using this central database. Van Beek did not update the original passport chip, instead an e-passport emulator was used. Also in 2008, the hacker's choice implemented all attacks and published code to verify the results. The release included a video clip that demonstrated problems by using a forged Elvis Presley passport that is recognized as a valid U.S. passport. Active Authentication In 2005 Mark Wittleman showed that the secret active authentication key can be retrieved using power analysis. This may allow an attacker to clone passport chips that use the optional active authentication anti-cloning mechanism on chips a euro if the chip design is susceptible to this attack. In 2008 Jiren Van Beek demonstrated that optional security mechanisms can be disabled by removing their presence from the passport index file. This allows an attacker to remove a euro amongst others a euro anti-cloning mechanisms. The attack is documented in Supplement 7 of DOC 9303 and can be solved by patching inspection systems software. Note that Supplement 7 features vulnerable examples in the same document that a euro when implemented a euro result in a vulnerable inspection process. Extended Access Control In 2007 Lux Grunwald presented an attack that can make EAC-enabled passport chips unusable. Grunwald states that if an EAC key a euro required for reading fingerprints and updating certificates a euro is stolen or compromised, an attacker can upload a false certificate with an issue date far in the future. The affected chips block read access until the future date is reached. Opposition, privacy proponents in many countries question and protest the lack of information about exactly what the passport's chip will contain, and whether they impact civil liberties. The main problem they point out is that data on the passports can be transferred with wireless RFID technology, which can become a major vulnerability. Although this could allow ID check computers to obtain a person's information without a physical connection, it may also allow anyone with the necessary equipment to perform the same task. If the personal information and passport numbers on the chip are not encrypted, the information might wind up in the wrong hands. On December 15, 2006, the BBC published an article on the British e-passport, citing the above stories and adding that, Nearly every country issuing this passport has a few security experts who are yelling at the top of their lungs and trying to shout out, this is not secure. This is not a good idea to use this technology, citing a specialist who states it is much too complicated. It is in places done the wrong way round a euro reading data first, parsing data, interpreting data, then verifying whether it is right. 
there are lots of technical flaws in it and there are things that have just been forgotten, so it is basically not doing what it is supposed to do. It is supposed to get a higher security level. It is not. And adding that the future of identity in the Information Society Network's research team has also come out against the e-passport scheme. Stating that European governments have forced a document on its citizens that dramatically decreases security and increases the risk of identity theft. Most security measures are designed against untrusted citizens, but the scientific security community recently also addressed the threats from untrustworthy verifiers, such as corrupt governmental organizations, or nations using poorly implemented, unsecure electronic systems. New cryptographic solutions such as private biometrics are being proposed to mitigate threats of mass theft of identity. These are under scientific study, but not yet implemented in biometric passports. Another concern is that the photograph looks blurry and less clear, as a result of the way it has been prepared. Transliteration of non-English names Names containing non-English letters are usually spelled using the local script in the non-machine readable zone of the passport but are transliterated according to the standards of the International Civil Aviation Organization in the machine-readable zone. For example the German umlauts and the letter I are transcribed as AEUE and SS, respectively, thus Ma one quarter Le becomes Müller, Gro becomes Gross, and Gra paragraph Amen becomes Gro Esman. The ICAO transcription is mostly used for computer-generated and internationally used documents such as airplane tickets, but in some cases English transliteration is used. German credit cards use in the non-machine readable zone either the correct or the transliterated spelling. The three possible spelling variants of the same name in different documents sometimes lead to confusion, and the use of two different spellings within the same document may give border agents unfamiliar with foreign orthography the impression that the document is a forgery. In response to this confusion, some Austrian passports contain a note in German, English, and French that AEUESS are the common transliterations of an OI. Names originally written in a non-Latin writing system may present another problem if there are no internationally recognized transliteration standards. For example, the Russian name THTH three quarters N Euro TH plus or minus TH degree NN TH squared is transcribed Gorbachev in English, Gorbachev in German. Gorbachev in French and Gorbachev in Spanish. Countries using biometric passports. European Union. European passports plan to have digital imaging and fingerprint scan biometrics placed on the RFID chip. This combination of the biometrics aims to create an unrivaled level of security and protection against fraudulent identification papers. Technical specifications for the new passports has been established by the European Commission. The specifications are binding for the Schengen Agreement parties, that is the EU countries, except Ireland and UK, and three of the four European Free Trade Association countries are Euro-Iceland, Norway and Switzerland. These countries are obliged to implement machine-readable facial images in the passports by August 28, 2006 and fingerprints by June 29, 2009. The European Data Protection Supervisor has stated that the current legal framework fails to address all the possible and relevant issues triggered by the inherent imperfections of biometric systems. Currently, the British biometric passport only uses a digital image and not fingerprinting, however this is being considered by HM Passport Office. The German passports printed after November 1, 2007 contain two fingerprints, one from each hand, in addition to a digital photograph. The Romanian passports will also contain two fingerprints, one from each hand. The Netherlands also takes fingerprints and is the only EU member that plans to store these fingerprints centrally. According to EU requirements, only nations that are signatories to the Schengen Accueil are required to add fingerprint biometrics. In these EU nations, the price of a passport will be, Austria an adult passport costs a 75.90, while a chip-free child's version costs a 30. As of March 2009 all newly issued adult passports contain fingerprints. Belgium, a 71 or a 41 for children plus local taxes. Passports are valid for five years. Bulgaria, 40 Bulgarian lever for adults. 
passports are valid for five years. Croatia it costs 390 Croatian kune. The chip contains two fingerprints and a digital photo of the holder. Since January 18, 2010 only biometric passports can be obtained at issuing offices inside Croatia. Diplomatic missions and consular offices must implement new issuing system until June 28, 2010. Cyprus are 70, valid for 10 years, Czech Republic, 600 Czech co run for adults, 100 Czech co run for children. Passports contain fingerprints. Denmark, 600 Danish kroner for adults, 115 Danish kroner for children and 350 Danish kroner for over 65. As of January 2012 all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Estonia, 450 Estonian krones. As of June 29, 2009, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Finland are 53. As of June 29, 2009, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. France, an 86 or 89, valid for 10 years. As of June 16, 2009, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Germany, a Permel 23 currency year old applicants are 37.50, 24 years of 59 passports issued from November 1, 2007 on include fingerprints. Greece are 84.40. Since June 2009, passports contain fingerprints. Hungary, 7,500 Hungarian forints, valid for 5 years, 14,000 Hungarian forints valid for 10 years. As of June 29, 2009, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Ireland, an 80, valid for 10 years. Free for people over 65. Italy, a 116, valid for 10 years. As of January 2010 newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Latvia, an adult passport costs LS15, valid for 10 or 5 years. Lithuania, 150 Lithuanian lighters. For children up to 16 years old, valid max 5 years. For persons over 16 years old, valid for 10 years. Luxembourg, a 30. Valid for 5 years. As of June 29, 2009, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Malta, a 70 for persons over 16 years old, valid for 10 years, a 35 for children between 10 a euro 16 years and a 14 for children under 10 years. Netherlands, approximately 11 on top of regular passport cost of 49.33. Passports issued from September 21, 2009 include fingerprints. Dutch identity cards are lookalike versions of the holder's page of the passport and contain the same biometric information. Poland, 140 polished slotty for adults, 70 polished slotty for students, valid 10 years. Passports issued from June 29, 2009 include fingerprints of both index fingers. Portugal, a 65 for all citizens valid for 5 years. All passports have 32 pages. Romania, 302 Romanian lani, valid for 5 years for those over the age of 6, and for 3 years for those under 6. As of January 19, 2010, new passport includes both facial images and fingerprints. Slovakia an adult passport, 13 years costs 33 or 19 valid for 10 years, while a chip-free child's, 5 a euro 13 years. Version costs 13 or 27 valid for 5 years and for children under 5 years 8 or 29, but valid only for 2 years. Slovenia, a 42.05 for adults, valid for 10 years. A 35.25 for children from 3 to 18 years of age, valid for 5 years. A 31.17 for children up to 3 years of age, valid for 3 years. All passports have 32 pages. A 48-page version is available at AA 2.50 surcharge. As of June 29, 2009, all newly issued passports contain fingerprints. Spain at a price of a 25. They include fingerprints of both index fingers as of October 2009, Sweden, 350 Swedish kroner. As of January 1, 2012, new passport includes both facial images and fingerprints.
UK, A72 pounds and 50 pennies for adults and A46 pounds for children under the age of 16. Unless otherwise noted, none of the issued biometric passports mentioned above include fingerprints as of May 5, 2010. Albania The Albanian biometric passport is available since May 2009, costs 6,000 lekka, and is valid for 10 years. The microchip contains 10 fingerprints, the photo and all the data written on the passport. Argentina On June 15, 2012 the government announced the availability of a new biometric passport at a cost of 400 pesos, valid for 10 years, Armenia. In July 2012 Armenia introduced two new identity documents to replace ordinary passports of Armenian citizens. One of the documents a Euro ID card with electronic signature and other personal data, is used locally within the country, and the biometric passport with an electronic chip is used for traveling abroad. Electronic chip of biometric passport contains digital images of fingerprints, photo and electronic signature of the passport holder. The passport will be valid for 10 years. Australia The Australian biometric passport was introduced in October 2005. The microchip contains the same personal information that is on the color photo page of the e-passport, including a digitized photograph. A standard adult passport is 226 Australian dollars valid for 10 years. For children, the fee is 113 Australian dollars valid for 5 years. A frequent traveler adult passport is 340 Australian dollars valid for 10 years. For children, the fee is 170 Australian dollars valid for 5 years. Airport security has been upgraded to allow Australian e-passport bearers to clear immigration controls more rapidly, and facial recognition technology has been installed at immigration gates. Azerbaijan Azerbaijan introduced biometric passports in September 2013. The passports will include information about the passport holder's facial features, as well as his finger and palm prints. Each passport will also include a personal identification number. The program covers the development of the appropriate legislative framework and information systems to ensure information security. Bosnia and Herzegovina Available since October 15, 2009 and costing 40 km. Valid for 5 years. Produced by Bundesdruckere. On June 1, 2010 Bosnia and Herzegovina issued its first EAC passport. Brazil. Brazil started issuing ICAO compliant passports in December 2006. However, just in December 2010, it began to issue passports with microchips, first in the capital Brasilia and Goya Estate. Since the end of January 2011, this last is available to be issued all over Brazil. It is valid for five years for adults and costs are $156.07. Brunei. The Bruneian biometric passport was introduced on February 17, 2007. It was produced by German printing I second variant following the visa waiver program's requirements. The Bruneian e-passport has the same functions as the other biometric passports. Canada Only the e-passport is available to Canadians since July 1, 2013. Chile Chile introduced new biometric passports and national ID cards on September 2, 2013. People's Republic of China On January 30, 2011, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the People's Republic of China launched a trial issuance of e-passports for public affairs. The face, fingerprint and other biometric features of the passport holder will be digitalized and stored in pre-installed contactless smart chip in the passport. On July 1, 2011, the Ministry began issuing biometric passports to all individuals conducting public affairs work overseas on behalf of the Chinese government. Ordinary biometric passports have been introduced by the Ministry of Public Security starting from May 15, 2012. Dominican Republic In the Dominican Republic, biometric passports began to be issued in May 2004. However the Dominican biometric passports do not carry the chip inside symbol. In January 2010, the cost of the passport was 1,250 Dominican pesos, about 35 a euro 40 US dollars at that date. 
Egypt. The Egyptian government has, from February 5, 2007, introduced the electronic passport and electronic document of identity for visa purposes which are compliant with the standard of the International Civil Aviation Organization. Digital data including holders' personal data and facial image will be contained in the contactless chip embedded in the back cover of ePassport and eDocI. Ghana Available since March 1, 2010 and costing a 50.00 a euro 100.00 for adults and children. The passports contain several other technological characteristics other than biometric technology. However the Ghanaian biometric passports do not carry the chip inside symbol, similar to the Pakistani passport, which is mandatory for ICAO standard electronic passports. Hong Kong In 2006, the Immigration Department announced that Unihab Limited had won the tender to provide the technology to produce biometric passports. In February 2007, the first e-passport was introduced. The cover of the new biometric passport remains essentially the same as that of previous versions, with the addition of the electronic passport logo at the bottom. However, the design of the inner pages has changed substantially. The design conforms with the document design recommendations of the International Civil Aviation Organization. The new e-passport featured in the 2008 Stockholm Challenge event and was a finalist for the Stockholm Challenge Award in the Public Administration category. The Hong Kong SAR e-passport design was praised on account of the multiple state-of-the-art technologies, which are seamlessly integrated in the sophisticated electronic passport system. Iceland Available since May 23, 2006 and costing 5,100 Icelandic kroner. India India has recently initiated first phase deployment of biometric e-passport for diplomatic passport holders in India and abroad. The new passports have been designed indigenously by the Central Passport Organization, the India Security Press, Nashik and IIT Kanpa. The passport contains a security chip with personal data and digital images. Initially, the new passports will have a 64 kilobytes chip with a photograph of passport holder and subsequently include the holder's fingerprint, S. The biometric passport has been tested with passport readers abroad and is noted to have a four-second response time a euro less than that of a U.S. passport. The passport need not be carried in a metal jacket for security reasons as it first needs to be passed through a reader, after which generates access keys to unlock the chip data for reader access. India has also given out a contract to TCS for issuing e-passports through Passport Seva Kendra. India plans to open 77 such centres across the country to issue these passports. On June 25, 2008 Indian Passport Authority issued first e-passport to the President of India, Pratibha Patil. The e-passport is under the first phase of deployment and will be initially restricted to diplomatic passport holders. It is expected to be made available to ordinary citizens from 2013 onwards. Indonesia Indonesia started issuing e-passports on January 26, 2011 though the e-passport is not a mandatory until 2015. The passport costs a P655,066 US dollars, for the 48-page valid for five years, and a P405,000 for the 24-page passport valid for five years. Iran Iran started issuing diplomatic and service biometric passports in July 2007. Ordinary biometric passports began to be issued on February 20, 2011. The cost of a new passport is approximately $37 USD. Iraq In April 2009, the Iraqi Ministry of Interior a Euro the General Passports Directorate revealed new electronic system to issue the new A-series passports in contract with the German Safe ID Solutions. The new series is a machine-readable passport available to the public which would cost 25,000 Iraqi dinars or about $20 USD but not a biometric passport. Israel As of July 2013, the Israeli Ministry of the Interior will be issuing biometric passports for those citizens who wish to receive them. For a two-year pilot period under the biometric database law, this will be optional. After the program is reviewed in 2015, 
if the decision is made to continue, only biometric passports will be issued. As of August 2013, any passport expiring in more than two years can be replaced with a biometric one upon request, free of charge. Passports expiring within two years will be charged the full fee. Japan The Japanese government started issuing biometric passports in March 2006. With this, Japan has met requirements under the U.S. Visa Waiver Program which calls for countries to roll out their biometric passports before October 26, 2006. Kosovo In May 2011, the Ministry of Interior of the Republic of Kosovo announced that biometric passports will be issued in the summer of 2011 after the winning firm is chosen and awarded the production of the passports. Macau SAR Applications for electronic passports and electronic travel permits have been started and processed since September 1, 2009. Macedonia Available since April 2, 2007 and costing 1,500 Macedonian dinars or c. A 22. Malaysia Malaysia was the first country in the world to issue biometric passports in 1998, after a local company, Iris Corporation, developed the technology. Malaysia is however not a member of the Visa Waiver Program and its first biometric passport did not conform to the same standards as the VWP biometric document because the Malaysian biometric passport was issued several years ahead of the VWP requirement. The difference lies in the storage of fingerprint template instead of fingerprint image in the chip, the rest of the technologies are the same. Also the biometric passport was designed to be read only if the receiving country has the authorization from the Malaysian Immigration Department. Malaysia started issuing ICAO-compliant passports from February 2010. Sovereign Military Order of Malta Since 2005 the SMOM diplomatic and service passports include biometric features and are compliant with ICAO standards. Moldova the Moldovan biometric passport is available from January 1, 2008. The new Moldovan biometric passport costs approximately 760 Moldovan lei and is obligatory from January 1, 2011. The passport of the Republic of Moldova with biometric data contains a chip which holds digital information, including the holder's signature, as well as the traditional information. It is valid for seven years and four years respectively. It was introduced as a request of European Union to safeguard the borders between the EU and Republic of Moldova. Montenegro The Montenegrin biometric passport was introduced in 2008. It costs approximately a 40. Morocco The Moroccan biometric passport was introduced in 2008. In December 2009, early limited trials have been extended and the biometric passport is available from September 25, 2009 to all Moroccan citizens holders of an electronic identity card. It costs 300 dh. New Zealand Introduced in November 2005, like Australia and the USA, New Zealand is using the facial biometric identifier. There are two identifying factors a euro the small symbol on the front cover indicating that an electronic chip has been embedded in the passport and the polycarbonate leaf in the front of the book inside which the chip is located. Nigeria Nigeria is currently one of the few nations in Africa that issues biometric passports, and has done it since 2007 the harmonized Ikawa smart electronic passport issued by the Nigerian Immigration Service is powered by biometric technology in tandem with the International Civil Aviation Organization specifications for international travels. Travelers' data captured in the biometric passport can be accessed instantly and read by any security agent from any spot of the globe through an integrated network of systems configured and linked to a centrally coordinated passport data bank managed by the Nigerian Immigration Service. Norway The introduction of biometric passports to Norway began in 2005 and supplied by SEEK, costing NOCA 450 for adults, or C. A 50. 270 Norwegian krona for children. In 2007 the Norwegian government launched AA Euro Multimodal a Euro unregistered trademark biometric enrollment system supplied by Motorola. 
Motorola's new system enabled multiple public agencies to digitally capture and store fingerprints, 2D facial images and signatures for passports and visas. The Norwegian biometrics company IDEXASA has begun development of electronic ID cards with fingerprint security technology for use throughout the EU. Pakistan In 2004, Pakistan became among one of the first countries in the world to issue the biometric passports, which are according to the publisher compliant with ICAO standards and dubbed multi-biometric e-passports, however they do not carry the chip inside symbol which is mandatory for ICAO standard electronic passports. As of 2012, Pakistan has adopted the multi-biometric e-passport that is now compliant with ICAO standards. Philippines On August 11, 2009, the first biometric passport was released for President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. The new e-passport has various security features, including a hidden encoded image. An ultra-thin holographic laminate, and a tamper-proof electronic microchip costing at around 950 pesos. Qatar On April 20, 2008, Qatar started issuing biometric passports which are ICAO compliant. A Qatari passport costs QR100. Russia Russian biometric passport was introduced in 2006. As of 2010, it costs 2.500 rubles, use only printed data and photo, BAC cryptid. Biometric passport issued after March 1, 2010 is valid for 10 years. Russian biometric passports are currently issued within Russia and in all of its consulates. From July 1, 2013 citizen can include fingerprints in passport if applied at certain offices within Moscow, Moskovskaya Oblast and St. Petersburg. The Government of Russian Federation has issued a regulation N-94 on February 10, 2014, according to which all biometric passports issued in 2015 or later will mandatory contain fingerprints. This will apply to passport issued in offices within Russia from January 1, 2015, and in consular offices, from January 1, 2016. Saudi Arabia On June 21, 2006, Saudi Arabia started issuing biometric passports which are ICAO compliant. A Saudi Arabian passport costs SR 150. Serbia. Available since July 7, 2008, and cost 3.600 Serbian dinars or approximately a 32. Singapore. The Immigration and Checkpoints Authority of Singapore introduced the Singapore biometric passport on August 15, 2006. With this, Singapore has met requirements under the U.S. Visa Waiver Program which calls for countries to roll out their biometric passports before October 26, 2006. Somalia The new e-passport of Somalia was introduced and approved by the nation's transitional federal government on October 10, 2006. It costs $100 USD to apply for Somalia's living inside of Somalia, and $150 USD for Somalis living abroad. Somalia is now the first country on the African continent to have introduced the e-passport. South Korea The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade of South Korea started issuing biometric passports to its citizens on August 25, 2008. The cost is fixed to 55,001 or 55 US dollars, and the validity of ordinary passport is 10 years. South Sudan The Republic of South Sudan started issuing internationally recognized electronic passports in January 2012. The passports were officially launched by the President Salva Kiir Mayardit on January 3, 2012 in a ceremony in Juba. The new passport will be valid for five years. Sudan The Republic of the Sudan started issuing electronic passports to citizens in May 2009. The new electronic passport will be issued in three categories. The citizen's passport will be issued to ordinary citizens and will contain 48 pages. Businessmen women who need to travel often will have a commercial passport that will contain 64 pages. Smaller passports that contain 32 pages only will be issued to children. The microprocessor chip will contain the holder's information. Cost to obtain a new passport will be 250 Sudanese pounds, 
200 for students and 100 for kids and the validity of the citizen's passport will be five years, and seven years for the commercial passport. Switzerland The Swiss biometric passport has been available since September 4, 2006. By a narrow majority of 50.14%, Swiss voters decided in May 2009 to accept the introduction of a biometric passport. Since March 1, 2010, all issued passports are biometric, containing a photograph and two fingerprints recorded electronically. The costs are 140 Swiss francs for adults and 60 Swiss francs for children. Taiwan the Taiwanese biometric passport has been available since December 29, 2008. It costs 1,600 new Taiwan dollars for an ordinary passport with either 3, 5 or 10 years validity. Taiwanese Central Engraving and Printing Plant prints passports for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Taiwan for several decades. During this period, the passport has been redesigned various times. The current e-passport is fitted with RFID technology that facilitates Taiwanese passport immigration clearances worldwide. Tajikistan Biometric passports will be issued in Tajikistan from February 1, 2010. On August 27, 2009, Tajik Ministry of Foreign Affairs and German Milbauer signed a contract on purchase of blank biometric passports and appropriate equipment for Tajikistan. Thailand the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Thailand introduced the first biometric passport for diplomats and government officials on May 26, 2005. From June 1, 2005, a limited quantity of 100 passports a day was issued for Thai citizens, however, on August 1, 2005 a full operational service was installed and Thailand became the first country in Asia to issue an ICAO-compliant biometric passport. Togo. In August 2009, Togo became one of the first African countries to introduce the biometric passport. The price of the passport was then set at 30,000 CFA francs for the Togolis residing in Togo. For the Togolis residing abroad, the price varies. Turkey Turkish passports which are compatible with European Union standards have been available since June 1, 2010. Colors of the new biometric passports have also been changed. Accordingly, regular passports. Claret red, special passports. Bottle green and diplomatic passports wrap black colors. Most recently Turkish Minister of the State announced that the government is printing the new passports at government minting office since the private contractor failed to deliver. The current cost of issuing a 10-year passport in Turkey is 387.80 TL. Turkmenistan Turkmenistan became the first country in ex-USSR, in mid-Asia region to issue an ICAO-compliant biometric passport. Passport is available since July 10, 2008. Ukraine Issuance of Ukraine's biometric passports and identity cards is regulated by law that stipulates that biometric identity documents are to be introduced on January 1, 2013. However, in practice, Ukraine's passports and national identity cards are expected to be available in April 2013. United Arab Emirates the UAE Ministry of Interior stated that it will start issuing Emirati biometric passports at the end of year 2010. United States The U.S. version of the biometric passport has descriptive data and a digitized passport photo on its contactless chips, and does not have fingerprint information placed onto the contactless chip. However, the chip is large enough for inclusion of biometric identifiers. The U.S. Department of State now issues biometric passports only. Non-biometric passports are valid until their expiration dates. Although a system able to perform a facial recognition match between the bearer and his or her image stored on the contactless chip is desired, it is unclear when such a system will be deployed by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security at its ports of entry. A high level of security became a priority for the United States after the attacks of September 11, 2001. High security required cracking down on counterfeit passports. In October 2004, the production stages of this high-tech passport commenced as the U.S. government printing office issued awards to the top bidders of the program. 
The awards totaled to roughly $1 million for startup, development, and testing. The driving force of the initiative is the U.S. Enhanced Border Security and Visa Entry Reform Act of 2002, which states that such smart card identity cards will be able to replace visas. As for foreigners traveling to the U.S., if they wish to enter U.S. visa free under the Visa Waiver Program, they are now required to possess machine readable passports that comply with international standards. Additionally, for travelers holding a valid passport issued on or after October 26, 2006, such a passport must be a biometric passport if used to enter the U.S. visa free under the VWP. Uzbekistan In Uzbekistan, June 23, 2009 Islam Karimov issued a presidential decree on measures to further improve the passport system in the Republic of Uzbekistan. On December 29, 2009 the President of Uzbekistan signed a decree to change the dates for a phased exchange of population's existing passport to the biometric passport. In accordance with this decree, biometric passports will be phased in, beginning with January 1, 2011. In the first phase, the biometric passport will be issued to employees of ministries, departments and agencies of the Republic, individuals who travel abroad or outside the country, as well as citizens who receive a passport in connection with the achievement of a certain age or for other grounds provided by law. The second phase will be for the rest of the population who will be to able get new passports for the period from 2012 to 2015. Venezuela Issued after July 2007, Venezuela was the first Latin American country issuing passports including RFID chips along other major security improvements. The chip has photo and fingerprints data. Notes and references. Notes. References. External links. ICAO Passport Standards and Related Materials, International Civil Aviation Organization, Public Key Directory, ICAO Document 9303, Part 1. Volume 1, ICAO Document 9303, Part 1, Volume 2, ICAO Document 9303, Part 2, ICAO Document 9303, Part 3, Volume 1, Supplement to ICAO Doc 9303, Release 7, LDS 1.7 PKI Maintenance, Open Source and Free Tools. JMRTD is an open source Java implementation of machine readable travel documents. Refidiot is an open source Python library for exploring RFID devices. The script MRPKEYPY can read passport chips. ePassport Viewer is a GPL friendly tool to read and check ePassports. ECLOWN for Symbian is a freeware tool for Nokia 6212 NFC and 6131 NFC cell phone to read and clone ePassports. ECLOWN for Android is a freeware tool for Android 2.3 plus NFC cell phone to read and clone ePassports. ePassport Emulator is a freeware ePassport emulator for Java Card and the Nokia Secure Element. THC a passport is an open source slash freeware collection of e-passport cloning tools.